the core diagnostic process for uh, performing a COVID test is based on uh, PCR or polymerase chain reaction, basically amplifying DNA. So if you have um, a piece of DNA, how do you get more of it? So it, it's easily copyable. You can make infinite copies of DNA. And one way you can do it is using this process called PCR. So you take your piece of DNA, which is complementary, right? So you've got these, you know, one side looks like ATG and the other side is GTA. So it looks complementary to each other. And what you do is you make small um, uh, primers or small pieces of DNA that you can use to attach to those strands that you're trying to find. So you use that as a kind of finding method. And then anything that's in between your two finding tools, you have a find in the front and a find in the back, a forward or reverse if you want to call it that, you'll be able to amplify the little bit in between. And being able to amplify that little bit in between means that you can go from one piece to two pieces to four pieces and exponentially up until you've got enough that you can measure. I mean, obviously what happens with viruses is that they're, they're, they're constantly mutating. So what you're looking for is a particular thing that's specific to COVID, um, but doesn't mutate. It's sort of resistant to, to mutation. So that's quite difficult to find. So that's where the design of these different pieces of DNA that do that, that finding actually becomes hard.